Right everyone, so we're uh, back at Speeton today, uh, lovely day. Obviously we're not going to see any sunrise today, uh, it's chucking it down with rain, a bit chilly, nice uh, easterly breeze pushing the sea in, but it's low tide so I'm just going to give it a couple of hours, see what we can find. Hopefully you need a piece of rock at least for me to bring extra off and maybe another couple, but um, Mark's here today as well so, and Chris, so if I find six stone of fossil today they can help me carry it because I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've been here literally five minutes and we're soaking wet already, but there we go. Max said it's better than being sat at home. I don't know if it was true or not. Uh, if we find loads of ammonites, I'll let you know. But just wanted to show you all this yellow stuff, if you can pick that up on there. That's a load of paraffin wax that's um, come off a ship and there was loads of it further down the coast. Um, I know some of the beach cleaning teams, um, volunteers have picked a load up on that, but there's there's still plenty here and it's obviously with it being wax it's not going to disappear very well but you can see it all there so unfortunately that's just some more rubbish for the uh, ecosystem to try and have to deal with but anyway so yeah um, it looks to be a lot of sand here today which is a shame we thought it might have been stripped I saw some pictures of Farley on Saturday and there was no sand on the beach there, but it's a grim day, absolutely horrible. I don't like rain, I think I'm part cat. I don't mind it being freezing cold, but I hate getting wet. But anyway, we've come out. Just going to give it a couple of hours till we're totally soaked. And uh, we'll just see how we get on. Sorry about that, I was just looking at what that was. Anyway, God, it's getting bad now. The droves of fossil collecting here. Eh? Just probably start collecting stamps instead, never mind. I think Mark said he's found a bit of jet, so we'll just uh, have a look. This is that um, Kimmeridge clay actually, it's just coming down from there. So this has been more exposed, you don't usually see this actually, this part of it. Alright, yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Yeah, it's found a seam there, look, but it is all in in bits but I'll be able to get some of it out. Yeah. Like that, that's alright, isn't it? Yeah. That's quite a big bit that man. I'll have a little. Yeah, get digging then, I'll film it. As Mark was just saying how fun it was when we went to speak in that time if you anything and didn't find out. And it's found some already look. Well spotted though. There's a sheen of jet here. Right, let's pull the piece out of that mate. Whoops, I'll put it on there, mate. So it's very fractured, but there's some decent bits in there, I think. Look, there we go. That's a bit in your hands, not bad. Yeah. That's definitely worth having, isn't it? Yeah, it is very fractured. Probably won't take them. No, uh, them slivers. There we go, so Mark has found some of it already. There we go, strikes again. Well done. Thank you. Right, so I was, we'll just nip back to this part here where I got to. Uh, it's actually bright over there, look, but it's still raining. I was just looking for this actually where it started to fall down on its own. Just see if it's come down with it, as you can see. Sorry, I keep looking at other things as well. Alright, right, so I was just having a little break for you with a trowel. If you come to Speeton, um, it's a good thing to have as a trowel. I just wonder if there was anything in here. It's going to be so sticky today, I probably don't want to be climbing the cliffs, it'll be very dangerous today, I think. Although, as I said, I don't want to get a piece of rock if I can. For that big etromorph that I got from here last time. There's no in there. But we'll keep looking and if we find some, we'll uh, turn the camera back on. Didn't think the camera was going to turn on, that it's getting a bit wet. 
But as you can see, I mean, there's some rainwater coming down there, look. What an awful day. Right then, so the weather's not improved at all, the cliffs are very unstable, there's just stuff coming down all the time, so it's a good job I can't spot any big ammonites really, um, it's absolutely silent it now, you can see there's just stuff coming down all the time, so, you know, give it another week, there might be some stuff worth uh, picking up here, I think the best thing we can hope for really now is um, trying to, hopefully the shrimp beds are exposed and we can um, find some shrimp nodules, but that's about it really. There's a big nodule in there but you'd never get to it. But you can just see it's coming down all the time. It's so dangerous. That's gonna go as well, that big piece there. Right, we'll crack on and keep filming as best we can. So it's uh brightened up a little bit now. Um Obviously we're soaking wet now and cheesed off but I'm just going to do a little bit more but there's hardly anything to find today at all, it's been very very poor so a bit annoyed really but there you go, you can't run everything can you, I've made the effort to come out um, drove here yeah, so a few of them got soaking wet but anyway stop running, better than being asleep I suppose. Um, so I just found a bit of an ammonite in there but not I'm going to tackle up. It's a shame because it's a uh, substantial block so if it was all there it'd come out it'd be very solid but I don't think we're going to do anything with that so very fractured these blocks with calcite and stuff but yeah it's been a big old ammonite right they've cracked on up there look so I'm gonna uh, walk up there and then maybe have a coffee and then go back because I think that's about it there's plenty of rubbish to pick up though so I'll fill a bag full of that up at least Remember the fossil gods will shine on me, eh? Right, Chris is still digging away over there, so he's either found uh, a dinosaur or he's uh, just hoping for the best, I don't know. Just had a brute stop raining, so I feel a bit better now. Uh, I, I did get some clean gloves out the uh, rucksack because I thought my hands were soaking wet and it was just absolutely drenched, so obviously the rucksack's not waterproof. There you go. So I'm just going to do this bit and then pick some rubbish up and then that'll be me done, so we'll get the camera on if we find out, but there we go, this chart's quite interesting, um, don't see it exposed that often, it just starts dropping in there, a bit of red chalk as well, and it just disappears under here, and as you can see it comes out further along there now, which is uh, the bottom of Bempton Cliffs, just around the corner there. So right, we'll crack on if we find out, we'll be filming it for you guys. Right, so I just thought I'd show you this nice little seam of Bannermanite, so it's running it's running from me in the cliff, I don't know if you can see pieces of it, I can see bits poking out, and some there, that I don't know, hopefully you can see these are a bit muddy, but there's all pieces in here, and it's running down, get some more down here, so, so hopefully if you can see these, but there's, they're all pushed up in there, Slightly larger ones down there, probably different species there. Again, not something I'm going to be collecting, but it just shows you. So that there's a bed there that runs full, chock full of bannermanites, some at the bottom and pieces, and it should fall off over here. So we should still pick them up. We've got some, we've got some in there somewhere. Just seen one. There's one in there. You can see that running along pieces so I've actually found something that looks a bit interesting first time today there's a shell in there though and it's a bit broken but it looks complete so Type it is. A 
problem though. Check that actually. Maybe I can glue it back together because I don't know what it is. I'll just have to turn the camera off while I get a bag out and sort that out. It's not actually that big of a, I know it's a big chunk, but it's not. So Max probably found the best ammonite yeah. of the day. Yeah. I think that's one of them ones. Yeah, if you can see, it's maybe in there and it goes round. You can see the suture lines, hopefully. And it goes round here, under there, round and there. This is worn out, it's got sutures on it, but that is a bit of a beast but it's a bit big in it mate don't know where that tub there was a white fisherman's tub up there if you put it in that and had some raw it was a big tub we'd be able to see it because it is it's massive but i reckon it's pretty cool that and i don't know if you want to believe in it really but it is a lump and a half isn't it that it is a lump and a half but that is a big Ammonite, but if you can shift it like that, because it's got loads of fracture lines in it as well, I know you don't really want to be. You might be able to smash a bit of this off, but it's up to you, Mark. But we'll we'll it's watch. Just good for the back, isn't it? it would, but I couldn't lift it up a lot, I reckon. Let's see, see how far that tunnel is up there. It. It's raining again anyway, so there we go. But yeah, well spotted, mate. But just. Bit of a beast. 